It's a totally different course to this one they had in Melbourne, which was uh, run down alongside the Yarrow River. And it kept uh, turning up off the uh, road parallel to the Yarrow River, and there were one or two stiff climbs there that really... Hatcher looks as though he's dropping back a little bit here. Teammate of uh, Cav. Clock continues to tick on. There's the bags of ice that are being handed up, and yep. it definitely looks like that lead has gone out significantly now, Hugh. It has. 1.45. Looks like it's going to be over two minutes. Mm -hmm. Still... The Isle of Man plugging away at the front, and that looks very much... Uh, Hatcher like, again. Yeah, Hatcher, he's come back. He got himself a bottle, had a drink, and a very, very short breather. Now he's reasserted his presence right at the front of the group. The long, lonely road ahead, eh? Well, it's it could be a rule towards the under-23 riders, actually. He's only 18, Sam Harrison. I mentioned a little earlier that uh, McCann had won the Tour of the Philippines. So we've got indications there that the lead is now up to 2.32. We'll wait for that to be confirmed, but that's a significant amount of time they've taken in uh, probably just over half a lap on this course. But it is the kind of gain that they'll need to be making if they've got any hope. His uh, presence on their squads, but he's staying with HTC Columbia. Got another year to run on that contract. I wonder how well he could figure in the 2012 Olympics in London. Well, there seems to be uh, a few moves being made, and it's disrupted the chase, the smoothness of the chase. With the Isle of Man riders getting back onto the front there to uh, restore some order, get the pace back up and let everybody settle back into their rhythm. Curious place to attack. But just testing the water there from South Africa, just uh, just seeing what was going to happen. These two starting to get tired now, stretching out of the saddle once or twice every lap now. It's the one little section of the course as well where it ramps up fractionally, Minto Road, and then heads off down Dean Dayel before it swings back. But... Uh, the riders from the uh, Isle of Man, now he looks to do doing a bit of stretching there, and that's Tom Black. Black's done a lot of work on the front in the interest of his uh, team leader. I think he might be done for the day there. He's, uh, he had to work really hard to maintain the pace at this level of race, and he couldn't do it. He's off the back. And at the front, South Africa have decided, we want to split this race up. Very interesting uh, position to be in now. This group trying to work out what they're going to do. There's a man up the road, but they can't take Cavendish. Isle of Man trying to replicate that position then of Peter Buckley, who won the gold medal in 1966 in Jamaica. And they also won a bronze back in 58 as well, down in Cardiff when Stuart Slack was headed by the great Ray Booty of England. But this is the man at the moment that is doing the damage to the rest. Mark Cavendish, he's in the mix here and prepared to share the workload. And as soon as they pull back back, then I'll be looking to see what kind of reactions we're going to get. And now that for the first time we're seeing everybody rolling through, by the New Zealanders, of course. And the man with most to gain here on the right, Mark Cavendish. No way is he going to shirk his workload, and no way would anybody accept it if he tried. But he's still out there, and at the moment the group are working consistently from behind. There they are, just coming up to the island, but he's still got to be reeled back in. And the nearer he gets to the line, the more inspired he's going to be, and somehow or other he'll dig deep and find that extra strength. Cavendish third in the line as you look down, who is now moving through to second. Another retiree from Cavendish's team, Chris Waddle. So Waddle pulls in, no doubt looking for a, 
a good position on the roadside to witness the sprint no doubt cheery skipper on well we're going to see an awful lot of attacking happening in that kilometers and i think this is cavendish it this is. is cavendish he hasn't been able to follow and that's going to give an awful lot of incentive for that group to ch to put the power down now because they don't want him to come back it looks as though cavendish is capitulating he's buckling here he's been left behind he's got lucro with him and one of the kiwis and now being swept up here is the lone leader, so Bauer has now been pulled back. Cavendish, his days are over here for trying to win a medal in the Commonwealth Games. He's about 15 seconds, 10 seconds in arrears now. He's getting a little bit of help from Luke Rowe, but it's going to be hard for him to claw his way back, and he's clearly fatigued. And this group here, well, they're going to want to keep going because he's the one person with a reputation like his you would not want it to come down to a sprint finish. Are they coming back? I can just see in the distance the right with Cavendish who would detach there is the bell music to the ears and you know I reckon Cavendish may well get back well he is closing the gap there and uh, he hasn't given up that's for sure he's not getting a lot of help Luke Rose helping him a little bit and he may just come back and Sutton he's gonna have to get on the front and drive if he doesn't want this uh, uh, Cavendish to come back but he is gonna come back he's got the face of agony on here look at Mark Cavendish his shoulders are rolling, the race face is on, he is suffering, but he's got the hopes, the sheer patriotism of the Isle of Man, I want to get back, you can almost read it on his face, because he'd love to tee himself up for a tilt at the gold medal sprint. Well, he needs to get back, but then he'll need to mark breakaways as well. He is just coming into the wheels now. He's already into the slipstream of this group. So Cavendish back in the hunt. Injection of pace, turning the screw like that caused a problem because the front group has broken in two. And Chris Sutton, the number one sprinter in this group, has had to work hard to get back into the wheel of Miller. And Miller's not happy. Look at this. He said, come on, let's have some work off you, pal. We're not going to carry you to the finish. You're a sprinter. But Ralston is also strong. And in the in the meantime, the other group behind are still trying to get back up. Well, this four are going to have to start working more coherently now together, to cohesively rather. They're going to have to work, and they, this group's going to come back again, and you will put Mark Cavendish back in the mix. Alan Davis, well, he's got uh, Mark Cavendish on his wheel. Mark Cavendish is not going to move, and I think this was the relationship he's had with Dave Miller. Dave Miller did some work for him earlier on, and this is how Mark Cavendish repays it. Yes, yeah, Sutton, Sutton trying to get across to Miller and right in the wheel is Davis and really that's going to hurt Davis big time because he's given a big effort to try and get up to the leading group again. Well, Miller, he really wants this gold. Well, Australia in a great position now because they've got the best sprinter in the group and they've got one fresh pair of legs in Sutton to do all of the chasing. So now it's going to be down to Sutton to try to keep a lid on this group so Davis can take it in the sprint. And we just heard from Radio 2 that Mark Cavendish is actually being tailed off. There he is. So Mark Cavendish, well, his dream of getting the goal for the Isle of Man here in the Commonwealth Games has now evaporated. His chances have been derailed as we get back to this leading group. And they're on the finish now. It's an attack by Chris Sutton. Sutton of Australia has decided to go. And Miller's reacted. Miller's reacted. And he's pulling the rest of the group back up. But this is a really big effort now by Chris Sutton. Well, these the Australians now have decided to go for a 1-2 tactic. They're going to keep going until they get somebody away. And so, uh, one, if it doesn't happen quickly, it is going to come down to a sprint. And, and uh, do the lead out for his big sprinter, Alan Davis. Miller's in second place. Here comes Ralston. Ralston could spoil the party here. The Kiwi, Hayden Ralston on the left of our screen, is going for it. David Miller on the right. And it's going to be Alan Davis in the middle for Australia. Davis is going to take it. Davis from Ralston from Miller. And Sutton celebrates in fourth position. He said fantastic riders. Mark Cavendish uh, rather disconsolately pedals his way up to the line. He was in with a shout, a serious shout, but I'm afraid towards the closing stages his chances ran out as the big attacks kept unfolding. Cavendish cruises over the line then to complete this Commonwealth Games road race.